Welcome back to Vladflix. Today I'm sharing two exciting news with you. First, I'm starting a new series, Top Cocktails from Around the World. And second, this week's giveaway, I have seven bar tools that you will need to make cocktails from today's episode. So if you want to be part of this giveaway, all you need to do, please be subscribed to my channel and let me know in the comments from which country I should make cocktails next. I will choose one winner next week, so let's go. Okay, first I'm flying to Peru to explore their signature drink, Pisco Sour. We're going to make a modern version of this super famous cocktail. To make it, we will need Pisco, which is a high proof colorless brandy produced in Peru and Chile, made by distilling fermented grapes. Fresh lime, sugar or simple syrup, raw egg white is the key ingredient to make this cocktail frothy with silky foam, but I prefer to use a foamer or aquafaba. Let's try to make it the same way how it's being made these days in Peru by using a blender and mixing glass. In the blender cup, add Pisco. Next, add juice of fresh Peruvian lime. I don't think you have any kitchen demerara sugar so feel free to use simple syrup or regular sugar. I will be using an egg topper to separate egg white but use whatever skill you have to make sure not to drop yolk in the blender. To avoid all this hustle and save a chicken just use an egg replacement instead. While it's being blended I will chill my stirring glass since we will use it next. Put everything inside a mixing glass, fill it up with fresh ice cubes. Now using a spoon let's stir it to chill and dilute without losing our silky foam. I'm going to strain it in the chilled coupe glass but it's also very popular to serve it in the double rocks glass with ice. This step is optional, but just like in the whiskey sour, for complexity flavor, bartenders add a few dashes of the Angostura beaters. Grate a little bit of nutmeg on top and enjoy. This popular cocktail that has incredibly unique taste and even has its own day that is celebrated on the first Saturday of February. It's time to take a short three hours flight to Brazil and make their most popular traditional cocktail, Caipirinha. To make the best Caipirinha, you need to find a perfect balance between citrus tartness, sweetness, and alcohol strength. Depends on the brand of Cachaca, there are three categories of this drink in Brazil. Caipirinha Basic, Caipirinha Especial, and Caipirinha Laxa. I really hope I pronounced it right. You can use simple syrup, but Brazilians consider it wrong, and in Brazil, custard or powdered sugar is almost always used. Modeling with crystal sugar helps extract the oils from the lime skin. Also, real Brazilian Caipirinha should be modeled and served in the same glass. Outside of Brazil or pretty much anywhere in the world, bartenders serve capirinhas with crushed ice, but in Brazil it is served with cubed ice. You can crab them into smaller pieces or use medium-sized cubes as I do here. I will garnish it with lime, but traditionally it's served without a garnish. Take a sip and imagine having fun right now at the Rio de Janeiro carnival, but don't get too comfortable. Well, now buckle up and our airline will take us to warm and sunny Russia, where we're going to make the oldest and most known cocktail, yours. Consistent of beer, vodka and that's it. Well, Russians used to drink it for the kick, not for the taste. Use a beer mug or any tall glass will work. Now let's use the most popular beer brand that you can get almost at any local store. Open it Russian style. Don't bother using jigger or measuring cup. Pour one shot of vodka. I mean one Russian shot of vodka. There you go, much better. Now add the same amount of beer, lightly stir it and enjoy this Russian soft drink yours. If 50-50 vodka and beer is too extreme for you, pour in the cold highball glass bottle of beer and add only two shots of vodka. You can drop it as a bomb, but it's not supposed to be served that way. Instead, you can layer it on top and typically the whole thing consumed after a toast. Back on couch airlines and let's fly to even sunnier and warmer country, England. Here we will make, nope, not an English tea, it will be the Pim's cup or classic Pims. It's a refreshing summertime cocktail and favorite drink at Wimbledon, where probably thousands of gallons of Pims being consumed every year. Well, except 2020. <laughs> to make this fruit cup, let's cut some pieces of cucumber. I'm going to cut a few slices right away that we will use later for a garnish. Next, cut the lemon wheel and slice it in half. One piece of fresh orange, cut one small strawberry, and I also will need another half that will be part of the garnish. I will use large tall glass since we need to put a lot of ingredients here. Don't fill up to the top with ice but let's put a couple of medium-sized ice cubes, place cucumbers on the side, repeat the same steps, add few more pieces of ice, then add lemon, orange and strawberry. Then put the last cube on top, if there's a room of course. Pour iconic Pims number one, or if you're not familiar, it's an old English gin-based liqueur with a flavor of spice and citrus fruit. In most of the recipes, ginger ale is being used as a soft drink that needs to be added here, but lemonade is also commonly used in Pims cup. I would recommend to try both versions. Pour to the top and garnish with cucumber, lemon, 
and strawberry. The moment you're about to say how can it get even better than this, I add a mint sprig on top to get that cold refreshing feel with every sip of the most iconic cocktail in England. London's fog not going to stop us from taking off and now we're about to cross the Atlantic Ocean to the place where maple syrup was created. But nope, we are not going to make maple old-fashioned, we will make the best known drink here Caesar. Let's make a celery salt rim. Using the lime, rim the glass and I also will make a lime wheel that we will use it later to garnish our bloody Caesar. We're going to shake this drink in a shaker at your favorite vodka, eh? Clamato juice. If you never tried it, it's a blend of tomato juice and clam broth with some spices blended in. I recommend to get one since besides Caesar, we also will be using it in Michelada variations. And if you don't want to miss this epic episode, please subscribe and turn on notifications. Okay, next, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Now, it depends how spicy you prefer your Caesar, add few drops of Tabasco sauce. Let's use ice straight from the freezer. I already explained in my Bloody Mary episode why we don't use wet ice when mixing cocktails with tomato juice. You definitely should check out this video and become a Bloody Mary master. Close it and roll it in the shaker for just a few seconds. Fill up glass with fresh ice and strain everything on top. For garnish we'll use a celery stick and lime wheel that we prepared in the beginning. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters. Your contributions help me to grow this channel. So please check links in the description if you would like to support our unique cocktail experience. As always, thanks to all of you who commented in the previous video, Long Island Iced Tea, our bar set winner is Steven Anderson. Never be afraid to make something new and I'll see you guys in the next video.